fragrance gang b4g here hey today man we got the weekly wears of the fragrances that i wore last week so we about to tap in we, i do have a new layering combo that i want to present to y'all a fragrance that i wore for date night and i got three fragrances that i'm slowly starting to come around on let's start off with the date night fragrance man i ended up going to the lucha it's a brazilian pizza wine bar type of spot very nice very aesthetically pleasing it was a good time so i ended up rocking out with spice bomb night vision as i was out and about i must say man nighttime this really is one of my favorite scents to wear during that spring summertime especially for night solo occasions green apple cardamom pepper geranium woody notes and some almond very nice fragrance man still maintains that spice bomb dna still has the red chili peppers a lot of peppers in this overall but the one thing that i do enjoy about this is that green apple opening mixed with the cardamom and then that geranium adds a nice touch the almond in the base kind of helps out with the woodsy notes gives it a little bit more sweetness this is my type of fragrance fam day night summertime or just regular night out solo summertime this is one that I truly do enjoy. Now, I do know that people don't like this as much just because it's not. It might be a little bit more playful than the original as well as the extreme, but Night Vision still has a good place for me, man. I rock with the EDT. The EDP is a little bit more mature, but for me to already have the EDT, I'm cool with rocking out with the EDT. This one will do what I needed to do for the occasion. Spice Bomb Night Vision. Now, going into a Middle Eastern fragrance that's gonna be in that similar vein in a way, we're gonna go ahead and back door with All You Need Is Love from the House of Our Mom. I ended up rocking this one out again, and fam, yeah, 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 nighttime, evening. This is a nice one. I forgot where I was going on this day. I don't think anything crazy happened, but I just do know that I was smelling good. I did get a compliment off of this one, but I think, matter of fact, I wore this one to work. I did get a compliment from my coworker, of course, but it was a couple of them that enjoyed it. C Notes, Mandarin Orange, Geranium, Lavender, vetiver, and some cedar. The way that mandarin orange Cinos combination mixes together in the opening. You got that lavender that plays a nice part as well. Very nice. I have talked about this one before in the back. And this is one of the ones that's cloning Aquadigio Absolute. So if you already know about that smell, I'm telling you right now. All you need is love pour on by our mob. You really can't go wrong with it, fam. This one might be a little bit more sweeter. Just a tad bit. And the original has a little bit more depth to it. Outside of that, fam, it really is a very similar fragrance. And this one still projects and lasts just as good as the original. So, yeah, man. Shout out to our mob. This is one of the ones that I do love that they did they absolute thing with. All right, man. Let's go ahead and talk about this layering combo, man. So, I got two of them for y'all. I told y'all that this one fragrance is an absolute beast when it comes to a layering fragrance. And this is only a $20 fragrance. The first fragrance that we're going to be talking about is going to be Ana Abadai White. Now, if y'all remember, this fragrance is supposed to be cloned in Georgia Piroff. I mean, Georgia Up. Uh, huh? This fragrance is supposed to be cloned in Herbal Pure from Georgia Off. Very nice fragrance, fam. Sweet, vanilla, pear. Nice. I must, I rocks with this one. So I decided to mix this one with Ben Sherman's signature. Hey, now this one has a little bit more of a green side to it, I must say. It does help have those ozonic notes in there, and that does play a huge part in the opening. You also got some leather, some food. You do have a lot of dark facets. I use the dark facets that are in Ben Sherman's signature, and I tried to see if Ana Abadaya would kind of dial it, dial it down a little bit. And to my surprise, it did. I didn't spray too much, but the sprays that I did do added a nice balance to everything. I was still able to pick up, pick up a lot from Ana Abadai, even though Ben Sherman is a darker fragrance. The main two things, the main three things that I was able to pick up from this one was still the vanilla, pear, and musk, which is the notes that I want to shine when I'm mixing it together with something that's very leather and ooh dominant like this Ben Sherman signature. This one worked. I felt like this will work, but I am going to try this one once it starts to get a little bit cooler. I'm going to walk it out, and I'm definitely going to let y'all know if this is going to be a banger or not, because both of these fragrances combined 
ain't even more than $26, fam, and that's without tax. So yes, I will be doing a more in-depth, I might even do a review on this one just to let y'all know because I know some of y'all already have this one in your collection, and if you just so happen to have a fragrance like an Oud Wood, this will be a nice combination. So I'm definitely gonna let y'all know and keep y'all posted on that. Hey, hey, one time for the one time, shout out to my guy Jeremy over at House of Colossus, man, merch, Colossus, hoodies and tees, bucket hats, trucker hats are on the website right now. No promo code for me, but just know that this jacket was purchased with my own money <laughs> and another one is on the way. I'm gonna have to cop another one for my guy. Now let's talk about, let's hit him with the Masoni pour on. Yeah, let's just hit him with Masoni pour on, fam. This one, I don't know if I told y'all this. This one is growing on me a lot, man. I loved it already. I was originally already a fan of it, but this is one of those fragrances where even three to four hours throughout the day and as I'm walking around, the whiffs that I get from this are so strong, so dominating. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's the whiffs that catch me. It's the fact that the body is still around to where when the breeze of wind passes me by and I'm able to smell myself, that feeling that I get, that uplifting, happy, just a great overall aura that comes around me when I pick up the smell on this fragrance when I'm wearing it. I enjoy it, fam. This is another one that is an easy compliment pulling fragrance for me. I wear this one to both jobs. And I'm telling you, the compliments are just coming in. Oh, you smell nice. And I can even see somebody turning around looking at me as my scent trail. You know how the head be like, where that's coming from? I just happened to saw that with somebody at my first job. So yes, this fragrance does cause its heads to turn. And this is a complimenting fragrance. Now this is cloning that Blue de Chanel DNA, preferably the EDT. So that's something that we already expect. But if you haven't already gotten your hands on this and you don't have Blue de Chanel EDT, and that's the fragrance that you are looking to get, Go ahead and check this one out, fam. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. You got a little bit more limit in this one than what you would get in the original, but outside of that, that's it. And personally, for me, it's something about that lemon, lavender, and ginger combination that I get strong whiffs of that really do just excite me, fam. Not gonna go on too much more about this one, but just know you can check this one out, and I will personally say that this one is a safe blind buy. That's just my thoughts though. Hey, Masoni Poron. Sometimes I want to say Masoni Wave Poron just because of the, the Masoni Wave, but. Now the last ones that we're gonna talk about, fam, we gotta go ahead, I gotta go ahead and discuss these. I gotta go ahead and discuss these. Gotta go ahead and discuss these. Club Day Nui Intense Milestone. Club Day Nui Intense Man. Club Day Nui Intense Siage. Now let's go ahead and get into it. I must say right now, this one, I enjoyed the most out of all three, but I wasn't surly sold on this one. This one, I thought was okay. I did respect the fact of how good of a fragrance it was, because I do think that it's a good fragrance, but for some reason it just comes off plain, simple. Like I'm not as excited when I get ready to originally throw this fragrance on. This one, fam, I don't even rock, dog. I, I barely rock this one. I, I can't tell you the last time I rocked this one. I don't think I've worn this one at all this year. Um, but yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of this one. It's just the powder and nuance of it. But I'm saying all this to say, these two right here have grown a lot on me lately. And the thing is this, this one has a beautiful red fruits watermelon note. I'm, 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 it's just there, fam, it's just there. And the watch that I get when I'm walking around, beautiful, amazing, love it. This one right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I finally accepted the fact that regardless of what you got going on, how you feeling, what your day is, this is the type of fragrance that's gonna get you compliments regardless. It just has that DNA. And I think that my problem with the fragrance was I was used to the, I was used to me being the one that gets the compliments, not the fragrance. Well, with this one, I must say, the fragrance is definitely more so of an attractor with the compliments, more so than just me, my being, my aura. And I think that might have been the thing that I was, <laughs> wow, it was so, eh about it but now i've definitely learned to accept it because i do enjoy this fragrance just really has grown to me a lot so i definitely think i might even be trying to get the creed discovery sets just so that i can compare them to the to these a little bit more and just so i can rock out with the original whenever i want to because i did get a chance to smell it at the atlanta airport and oh my gosh that milestone is that millicene imperial is a fool 
And then this one right here, man, I don't know, fam. I'm definitely going to try this one again. I am going to give this one another shot. But that opening, dog, that opening, fam, that powdery, that flat. It's like it's explosive. It's like it's big, but it's flat at the same time. It's just, I don't know, man. We're just going to have to dive a little bit more into this one. I'm really going to have to just try this one a lot more and see. But that's going to be the video, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. What were some of the fragrances that you had in your rotation? And what were some, what are your, some of y'all thoughts on these fragrances that I have swapping in and out? Especially when it comes to that Our Mouth Club, they knew we intense man line. Let me know what y'all think about those, because I really want to know, am I, am I the only one that feel that way, or do y'all get, or do y'all understand where I'm coming from? Let me know down in the comment section. But with all that being said, we about to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, fam. D4G truly blessed. That's their full greatness.